Nancy and Mike were going to the Carnival of Riddles, which was scheduled to be in their town during the weekend. It was a very popular carnival that was traveling the country, and everybody was so excited. So, when they arrived, they saw a very long line, and it seemed like they had to wait for many hours to be able to get in. But the ticket salesman left his booth and walked in front of the crowd. He said that he was going to give a riddle to everyone. Since this was the carnival of riddles, those who could answer correctly would be able to get inside earlier than others. The riddle was this. I am the beginning of eternity. I am the end of time and space. I am the start of every end. I am the end of every place. What am I? The answer is the letter E. Nancy and Mike were so happy that they knew the answer and didn't have to wait to get in. But even though they were able to move in front of the line, they still had to pay for the tickets. But they were so expensive. The salesman offered them another riddle. If they could answer it, he would give them a 50% discount. I have an X number of candy apples. If I count them by threes, the remainder is two. If I count them by fives, the remainder is three. If I count them by sevens, the remainder is two. How many candy apples do I have? Mike was kind of a genius, so he knew the answer immediately. Do you? The answer is 23. Nancy and Mike were glad to have been able to save some cash to buy snacks. Nancy wanted to get something sweet for herself and her brother, so they went to the candy booth. They had three options to choose from. They could either buy cotton candy, candy cane, or a candy apple. Which one should they pick? Take a closer look at the cotton candy. There's a teeny tiny spider stuck inside. Yikes! And did you notice that little apple worm inside the candy apple? That's never good. So, they should buy the candy cane. Before leaving the candy booth, Mike wanted to get a gumball too. However, when he inserted his coin into the gumball vending machine, he realized that something was strange. Hey. Do you see it too? Look inside the machine carefully. Not everything in there is a gumball. This and that are eggs. How weird is that? Hey! After eating their candy, they came upon a tent with a sign that said, Enter if you want to see real magic. They were intrigued, so they decided to walk in. There were three different magicians. The first was holding cards in his hands. Then he made them disappear. The second one also had cards, but he was making them levitate. And the third one put a pen through a card, but the card was unharmed after. Only one of them was capable of real magic, and the others were just doing tricks. Can you tell who? Take a closer look at the first magician's sleeves. You can see a corner of the card. He didn't make them disappear, he just hid them. The second magician's cards are attached to a clear thread. You can notice it from where the sunlight hits. So the third one is the real deal. Mike was a fan of all things scary, so he convinced his sister to take the haunted house ride. As their cart moved inside the dark tunnel, they encountered three different monsters along the way. A zombie, a ghost, and a mummy. Little did they know that one of them was a real monster. Can you tell which one? Take a look at the zombie. Its makeup is kind of melting, which means that it must be an actor. As for the mummy, look at his ankle. His skin slightly shows under all that mummy gauze. So he must be a dressed up actor as well. That makes the ghost the real monster. So creepy. Nancy didn't enjoy the haunted house ride. She wanted her next ride to be something relaxing. So she chose the carousel. Mike decided to skip this one to explore the carnival more. They agreed to meet later. 
When Nancy arrived at the carousel, she saw that all the horse seats were taken, except three. But only one of them looked safe to sit on. Which one is that? The second horse mount is cracked. It's not wise to pick that one. And the third horse is slowly moving back and forth even though the carousel is not rotating yet. Its screws must be loose or something. So, she should choose the first one. It's the cutest one anyway. As Nancy was enjoying the carousel, Mike decided to check out the Hall of Mirrors. The information board said that only one person was allowed inside. Mike entered and had so much fun enjoying all the funny reflections of himself on the weird mirrors. But then, suddenly, he screamed with fear. Why is that? Take a closer look at the mirror reflections. One of them doesn't belong to Mike. So, he is apparently not the only one inside, even though the sign said he would be. Mike was so scared of the unexpected reflection, he ran out of the Hall of Mirrors immediately. But as he did, he tripped on a stone and twisted his ankle. So, he decided to visit the first aid tent to get some ice. When he walked in, he saw that the nurse was in panic and in no condition to help him out because there were three pregnant women sitting in front of her, all claiming they were going to give birth now. However, Mike noticed that one of them was lying and faking her pregnancy. Can you tell who? Girl number three is clearly the liar. Take a look at the ultrasound picture in her hand. It has the first girl's name on it. She must have stolen it from her, so she's only pretending to be pregnant. Once the real pregnant ladies left for the hospital, Mike was able to get some ice for his ankle and went to meet his sister. At that moment, they heard an announcement coming from the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, gather up to see the strongest man alive. Don't believe me? I'm not lying. Here he comes. See him with your own eyes. Nancy and Mike wanted to see who this man was, so they joined the crowd. A muscular-looking man entered the stage. He said, I will prove to you how strong I am by breaking this thing with my bare hands. But first, you have to guess what it is. Here is my riddle to you. There was a greenhouse. Inside the greenhouse, there was a white house. Inside the white house, there was a red house. Inside the red house, there were lots of little ones. Nancy knew the answer, so she yelled it out. Can you guess? It's a watermelon, and the strong man was able to break it with his bare hands indeed. So cool! Nancy and Mike were tired, so they decided to call it a day and go home. But before that, they wanted to get a souvenir from the carnival. They picked a beautiful fridge magnet. When they paid for it, the gift shop salesman put three cups upside down on the table and placed their money under one of them. He said he would give their money back and the magnet for free if they could guess which cup had their money after he performed his trick. Watch carefully. Nancy knew where the money was immediately. How about you? It's here. You thought it was under this one, right? Watch it in slow motion again. Do you see the salesman putting the money under that one with a quick hand movement? Nancy noticed that. What a fun day. Okay, it's time to check how sleuthy you are. And I have a couple of riddles for you to crack, like a walnut. Here's the first one. Detective Callum is the best detective in town who has caught many criminals. Of course, some people don't like him, so he must be mindful. One day, he ordered his usual pack of donuts, which he eats when he thinks about twisted cases. Half an hour later, the doorbell rang, and there were two packs of donuts delivered. One of them must be poisoned, but which uh -oh. one? Look, this box is the same as the empty donut boxes in his office, which he always orders. 
so this box must be safe. But the other delivered box is very suspicious. Mm Mm-mm, I wouldn't eat that. Sophie has everything in particular places in her bedroom, but she is the only person who knows what is where. Quinn, Sophie's sister, asks Sophie to lend her a necklace for a party. The necklace was safely stored in a little box, but the box was hidden. So Sophie drew a map for Quinn to Uh help her find it. Can you help Quinn to find the right box? The note is basically a map of Sophie's room. You just have to find the object she drew. Following the pattern, here's a box. The necklace must be there. Nova is taking piano lessons, but she doesn't like them. Her mother insists on her playing a musical instrument and makes her practice every day. During the summer holidays, Nova's mom went on a two-week-long business trip and instructed her daughter to practice daily. The girl agreed, but in fact, she never even opened the piano during that time. When Mrs. Adams returned and Nova told her that she had been practicing, her mother didn't believe her. Why not? The piano's cover is dusty, which means it's been a while since Nova opened it the last time. Do you think you know countries well? (laughs) Let's see. I'll show you several famous landmarks, and your task is to guess which country it belongs to. Okay? Let's start out easy. What do you say here? Of course, this is Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, from New York City, New York. Great job! This one is easy peasy too. What do you say? It's the Eiffel Tower from Paris, France. These are one of the most ancient structures in the modern world. Can you name and locate them? These are the Pyramids of Giza, located in Egypt. Here's the next one. Can you locate it properly? This is Sydney Opera House from Sydney, Australia. Did you get it right? Another famous landmark, Machu Picchu. But where is it located? Do you remember? This beautiful landmark belongs in Peru. Gabriella is an archaeologist who explores the old ruins of Greece. One day, as she was working, she walked through a tunnel, but at the end of it, there was just a dead end. Oh no! Luckily, there were three doors, but only one of them would lead her out of the tunnel. There is a sign with three hints. One of the statements is wrong. Which door should Gabriella pick? 1. Door 2 will not lead you to freedom. 2. Door 1 or 3 will lead you to freedom. 3. Door 1 or 2 will lead you to freedom. One of the statements is wrong. If the wrong one is the first statement, then door 2 is the one Gabriella needs. But then the second statement is wrong too. If statement 2 is wrong, then door 2 is the one leading to freedom, but then the first statement is wrong too. If statement 3 is wrong, then door 3 is the one Gabriella needs. In this case, the other two statements are correct as well. So, door 3 it is. Mr. Morris is a landlord of an apartment building with a no-pets policy. None of the residents are allowed to have any kind of pets. One resident reported that they have been hearing a cat in one of the neighboring apartments. Look at these two apartments. In which one of them does a cat live? Look, in this apartment, the walls and sofa are scratched on the bottom. 
These aren't human traces, so the cat must be living here. Several months later, there was another complaint. This time, someone heard a dog. Mr. Morris inspected two neighboring apartments again, looking for traces. In which apartment does a dog live? It must be this apartment. Look, the resident forgot to hide the dog leash. Okay, let's get back and locate a couple of more landmarks. What's the home country of the Taj Mahal? Taj Mahal is located in Agra, India. Okay, what is this, and where do you think it is? It's the Great Wall of China, located in… well, I think China would be the safe bet. Can you recognize this construction? What country can you find it in? It's the Colosseum from Rome, Italy. Maeve needs to log into her mom's laptop to delete the files she accidentally sent her. She doesn't know the passcode, but her mom always leaves notes with passcodes around in case she forgets it herself. Here is the only note Maeve could find. Can you help her guess the passcode? The key is to count the number of figures on each picture. There is one circle, so the first digit is 1. There are four big triangles, but they form three more little triangles, so the second digit is 7. Then three squares and two circles. The passcode is 1732. Another day, another passcode to crack. One week later, Maeve needed to get into her mom's computer again, this time to delete the email with her not-so-good grades. The previous passcode didn't work, her mom had already changed it. But here is a new note with the new hints. These are the names of Maeve's family members, but what are the digits? The first name and the digit next to it give a hint on how to crack it. It's Maeve's name, and the number 5 must indicate the number of letters in it. So, other digits are the numbers of letters in other names. So, 5 for Maeve, 8 for Virginia, 4 for John, and 6 for Oliver. Nicole hosted a party in honor of her cat's birthday, and she invited several friends over. Karis didn't want to go there because she wanted a free evening to play her new video game. So, she lied that her mom had grounded her and made her clean the room. To make it up to her best friend, the next day, Karis invited Nicole for a movie night. When Nicole arrived, she understood that Karis had made an excuse not to go to the party. How did she figure it out? Look, Karis' room is a total mess. If her mom forced her to clean it the previous night, it'd be way neater. Arden is on an expedition in a winter forest, and she got lost. Her devices froze, and she didn't know where to go, so she was walking straight, hoping to see something familiar. But then, she came across three ways, all of which seemed dangerous. The way straight goes past the cave where a huge brown bear is sleeping. The road on the left goes through the place where a pack of hungry wolves live. The right road will lead her to the lake with thin ice. Which way should Arden go? She should go straight and keep quiet. The bear is sleeping and most probably won't even wake up unless she makes too much of a noise. And a few more of these. This is the Acropolis, but where is it from? The Acropolis is located in Athens, Greece. This is a famous castle. Do you know where it is?
the one and only Neuschwanstein Castle is nowhere else but in Germany. The last one of those for today, you've got this. Can you locate this landmark? It's Stonehenge, and it's in Wilshire, England. Hey, good work! 